There's nothing I hate more in my life than seeing the people around me being stifled and getting stuck in their own ways. There's two levels to that problem, I figured. There's the people that know they're stuck and know they could be better. And there's, there's the people that were never even educated or given a chance to know that they could be better. If you're watching this, you're probably in the, sec the first group of the people who do know about self-development and the fact that you can change yourself and you can become successful and you can accomplish your dreams. But for some reason, you know, for some reason, even though all your friends talk about self-development and all you're being fed is you can be successful, you can make your dreams come true. Well, let me give you very bad news. If you'll take a look around, or even if you just check the statistics, all of these so-called self-development people, and you can find a lot of them on Twitter, that are over 30 years old, are mostly broke, not millionaires not living their dream life. <laughs> I had a guy, a guy who, I post uh, some of my, I write an article every day and sometimes I post them on different forums. And there was this guy who wrote back to me. He's like, I, it was basically a complete and full guide for habits that took me two years to kind of perfect and what I call like the most efficient manner of habit setting that I've ever came across and created on my own from years of suffering and experience until I got it perfect. And this guy was like, you know, I think that I can definitely see places where you can improve on this uh, guide of yours. And I was like, Oh yeah? Well, I think it's as close to perfection as you can get. But if you have any suggestions, I'm all ears. And so this guy wrote, Well, look, I'm in self-development for the last 30 years. And I can clearly see many, many places where this could be better. I mean, I've written many products and books and I figure anybody with over two years, sorry, sorry for spinning, with over two years of self-development knowledge should know how to uh, improve this guide. And then I wrote him again. <laughs> there, were two th there, were, there, were, there were two things. There was what I wanted to write and what I actually wrote. So what I actually wrote was, okay, man, cool what would you suggest you know the show show your cards don't just talk the talk like okay what's the idea but what i wanted to write was like look dude you've been in self-development for 30 years and you're still like posting at a forum with like a weird pseudo nickname what the fuck dude like if I was in 30 I was in self development for 30 fucking years and I would have uh, and I would be like at this level you know and I'm, I'm not gonna kind of make too many assumptions but you know somebody who posts at forums who has like a weird nickname I mean I'm just guessing I might be wrong this might be just a weird hobbit habit of him but his but I guess this guy is not really you know kind of a Grant Cardone or a Tony Robbins or a Ty Lopez I mean if I was in self-development for 30 years and at that level I would 
probably kill myself or at least think very, very thoroughly about my current path in life and how far it actually got me. <laughs> so, yeah, self-development, it doesn't entitle you to shit. It doesn't mean you're going to be a success. Maybe it means you're going to have a bit of, you know, maybe a bit above average life because you know more about meditation and you read some books. But where you get the, the real like type of success that you strive for, it's from being extremely aggressive with your goals, taking massive, massive risks at strategic opportunities, being obsessed, mega obsessed, thinking day in and day in, day out about your goals and dreams and doing whatever it takes to make them happen and also adopting a do or die level of self-discipline and what do or die means is I would rather die than not accomplish my daily goals it's, it's, it's really that simple because if I'm not going to accomplish my daily goals for any excuse I'm not going to accomplish my goals either because my goals are basically my daily goals multiplied by 10, 20 or 30 years of consistency now you may be thinking at this point wait but if you do the same thing for 30 years why would you get a different result well I'm not saying I'm going to do the same thing for 30 years I'm saying I'm gonna be consistent with taking daily actions that move me forward in the areas of my life which I need to be abundant at to consider myself as successful. So my life, the way it looks, is really like a very steep, continuous, up cycle right now and even in the down phases when I'm sick when I'm down I keep pushing and doing the daily goals because then I keep moving up against the gravity you know the increased gravity of the sickness or the depression or whatever the fuck might happen also when I set goals I don't go for midterm goals, uh, you know, like five years from now, ten years. And I also don't go for goals where it's what I call scarcity goals. Like, let's say I need more money right now, so I, I'm just not going to make goals based on that. And the reason for that, the reason I only set goals based on the longest, biggest, most ideal incredible things I can imagine that I want for myself is because when you think small when you're like in scarcity you think oh if I just get this life would be amazing or if I get this my problems would be solved then you when you think small you tend to go small so if your goal is let's say making an extra two thousand dollars a month that's like the goal you're probably most likely unless it's a do or die situation, you're not gonna put in the required actions to make that goal a uh, reality. Whereas when I focus on my long, 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 massive, almost impossible goals, because they're so big and scary and I know it's gonna take so much time to get them, I end up taking the most massive amount of action I can every single day. For example, my goal isn't to get to 100 more subscribers or 1,000 or 10,000. My goal is to get to 10 million subscribers. So this goal is so long and, and scary and far away and massive that I just ask myself, okay, what's well, like the most massive thing you can possibly do? And that would be making five videos a day, which by the way, this video is my sixth video today. And I just do that daily and 
taking and and that's that's the meaning when people say you know aim for the moon aim for the stars i don't know you know you you're in self-development you know that sentence like aim for the, the moon you're gonna hit the star you might hit the stars or something they don't mean just aim there they mean when you aim high and you actually take the appropriate actions then on the way you'll actually pass through the scarcity goals so scarcity goals are like you know i just want 20 percent more money i just want one girl and i'll be happy stuff like that like you know they usually start with just just this and i'll be okay so when you aim so high you end up you know like to the stars you end up taking massive action like the most literally the most amount of action you can possibly take every day so either way and and by the way the, the think behind the action is bigger so you're you're even more inspired when you take action the action is even on a higher quality level um so then you get all this inspiration and shit you take massive action the most action you can take anyway and you pass by the scarcity goal without even noticing you know you aim for making 10 million dollars a month and you actually go for it by taking you know by upping you know crazy crazy sales activity or something like that and then you end up actually passing your scarcity goal on the first week because <laughs> on the first week you already made like five thousand dollars uh you you have no idea it's, it's, it really doesn't work like that but but again you have to aim through the wall not at the wall it's like in karate if you you have like a board and you need to smash it with your karate chop if you aim at the board you're gonna break your arm but if you aim through the board then you're basically gonna break it most likely or you know you might break your hand but at least it will be a cool story but yeah that's like the theory about it so that's like a bit more about the kind of the philosophy of how I do what I do um, I have a disdain for anybody who's not willing to go after their dreams I think it's fucking pathetic um, on one level obviously that's like my lower self on the higher self I believe I want to help everybody I want to make sure that everybody uh, has the proper um, kind of knowledge they need to actually go through go after their goals and whatever is stopping you I want you to know that it can be easily fixed and I learned it so many times in my life by being coached and also by me coaching people that all you need is one good conversation with somebody who's what I call like a key master like somebody who who's like really good at unlocking stuff that holds you back like mental blocks just one good uh, conversation with somebody like that and you'll find yourself soar surging like soaring through the skies because literally all you needed to do was solve this one thing that was blocking you so um, you know I offer free conversations free Skype calls you know they're, they're, they're basically they're there is a they're used as a filter to know who I want to work with but um, you know I won't kill you if you just contact me and say hey Robbie I just need your help and that's it you know, I, don't, I don't intend to pay you I just want your help um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a generous guy if I can help I'll help so um, yeah let's go solve that shit don't don't drag with it because because when you do solve it the worst part is you realize how much time you lost all this time you thought you were making progress and you know you're just standing still full gas on neutral I mean yeah you know there's all this rationalizing like yeah I know it's about the struggle man the struggle makes it worth it and you learn from the hardships man that's the way of success and the journey but you know what fuck it I mean like if there was a way to achieve your goals and learn the lessons without going through the struggles would you still want the struggles of course not nobody wants the struggle they, they they maybe rationalize that it's good because of the lessons you get from the struggle 
that help you become successful. But what if you could have gotten these uh, lessons without struggle, simply by associating with people who already went through that shit, and then you just on the fast track to your goals. Wouldn't that make a bit more sense? Do you want to be the guy who gets his goals accomplished like Grant Cardone at like 60 because he fucked up so much? Or would you rather be the guy who did it at 30 or 40? And again, kudos to Grant Cardone. Like he's one of my biggest inspirations in the world. In the world. I'm definitely not using him as an example of, um, of uh, somebody who's like a loser or something. He's the biggest boss in the world. I'm just saying this as an example because this guy only woke up when he was like 50 or 45 to his true potential. I mean, if he would have woken up when he was uh, 30, the dude could have been like, not just president, he could have been like the ruler of earth. If I'm being brutally honest. So yeah, I, I don't appreciate was wasting time. I want to get what I want as fast as possible. And I know that the lessons are a key part of it because if you don't have the lessons, you won't have the proper constraints and motivations to actually in keep you on the path of the right behavior. But on the other hand, I also want to get the lessons as fast as possible because um, you know I'm not 16 anymore I, I don't need to be in pain to to learn a lesson like I don't need w w the way it was back then is like I would learn the lesson and then I would one moment I, I would learn le a lesson and and I would be like okay I learned not to do something but then I would keep doing it maybe because the lesson wasn't fully learned maybe because I was just a brat but you know like don't do like you know like for example if you are not consistent with your meditation you're not gonna maintain the habit or or you know it's better to set low intensity goals and actually do them than to just do high intensity and not even take action because it's uh, too too much for you um, so I had to learn these lessons over and over and over and over again but today it's enough for me to learn these things just once so I just learned the lesson once and I I'm good I don't need to go through shit so if somebody's like hey dude like don't do it like this do it like that because it will be more effective and I can rationalize it I'm, I can fully rationalize it, like oh I completely understand why or if somebody's like, hey, don't do this or don't do that. And again, I can completely rationalize why. Well, I'll just immediately apply it and I just won't make that mistake. Um, I don't know if it's an age thing or, or what. Anyway, uh, this was the sixth and final video for today. Thank you for watching. If you like these kinds of videos, please tell me because I definitely love talking. I love talking like more than anything, to be honest. Uh, so I'd love to make more of these, uh, especially in two weeks when I start traveling again. Like, holy shit, I'm going to have uh, a lot of chances to, to talk a lot. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, you know. Ah.